Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. In today's quick tip, you are gonna learn how to use the very powerful but often confusing text animators in Adobe After Effects CC 2025. This tutorial is a complete lesson for my online course called the After Effects User Guide, which you can find at aeuserguide.com. This course is going to unlock the creative power of After Effects whether you're a beginner or if you've been dabbling in After Effects for a little while, by helping you master the essentials. So you can actually create with confidence and have some fun in After Effects instead of feeling lost or confused or maybe even frustrated because you just don't understand how After Effects works. In the description of this video, I'll include a link to the After Effects User Guide course. I'll also leave a coupon code in the description. So when you click on enroll today, just click on add coupon code to get a discount on the course. To add text animators, just twirl open the text layer. There you'll see the word animate. Click the arrow and in this flyout menu, these are the animators or the properties that you want to animate. You can also add text animators with the text layer selected. If you go to the properties panel at the very bottom, you will see a little plus icon with the button add animator. So when you click that, it's the same menu with all of the text animators. Just note that when you do add a text animator from the properties panel, you will customize in the layers panel. In the last way that you can add text animators with the text layer selected, if you go to the top menu animation, you will see animate text and here you will see that same menu. I'll twirl open the text layer, go to where it says animate, click the arrow, and now I need to choose an animator or a property that I want to animate. I'll start with position. When I add that property, it gets added under a group called animator one. And inside that group is another group called range selector one. The easiest way to describe the basic workflow of text animators. First, you add a text layer, then you add an animator or a property that you want to animate. Then you select the range or you tell After Effects what it is that you want affected when you change the property. And then you change the property value and then you add keyframes to the range selectors to actually create the animation. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, hold the space bar so I can move around. And notice that line with the little arrow. When I click and drag in, I'm moving that line. The start range selector is changing. So I am changing the range of the start range selector. So now it's at 27%. I'll tap the space bar to go into the hand tool. I'm gonna to go to the end. Now when I click this and move it in, you guessed it, I'm changing the end range selector. So now I'm at 73%. I'll zoom out a little bit. So I just set the range between these two lines here. And now when I change the position, so I'll just change the Y values so the characters go up and down. The only things that will be affected by this text animation is going to be that range. And that in a nutshell is how text animators work. You'll often use the start and end range selectors to set the initial range of the animation. And you can use the offset range selector to shift or offset that range set by the start and end without needing to change the start and end percentages. And one difference between offset and start and end is that offset, you can go into the negative values all the way down to negative 100, whereas start and end is just from zero to 100%. And when you drag offset into the negatives, it's shifting the range towards the start. And when you go towards the positives, it's shifting the range towards the end. So I can go from minus 100 up to 100, whereas start and end, you can only go from zero to 100. Inside of the range selector group, there is another group called advanced. And this is where you can really add further customization to your animation. If you want to add additional properties or animators, 
inside of your group. You'll want to use this menu here where it says add. I'll click under property. This is the exact same menu that we saw under the animate button above. The main thing is though that when you use it next to the animator, it's going to make sure it's added inside of this group. If you did not have the animator group selected and you went to the animate menu instead of add, when you add a new animator, it creates a new animator group. So I'll delete that. Click the add button. Now when I add a new animator, it gets added under that same group. You can also add additional range selectors under the add menu. So I can click this selector. I can add range selectors. And there's also two other type of selectors, wiggly, an expression and now let's create this example animation and if you look in the animator I use position rotation character offset and blur so I'll twirl open the text layer click the arrow next to animate I'll choose my first animator position now I'm gonna to go to the add menu because I want to add additional properties or animators I'll click the arrow property. I'm going to select rotation. Go back to add. I'm going to choose character offset. This is going to scramble the letters. That's kind of fun. I'll go back to add and I'm going to choose blur. I know I want the text to come in from the left side and go in right. So I'm going to start on the X value and I'm just dragging the text until it's not visible. Now I can't see the text, so I now might change, go to the range selector. I'm gonna click the stopwatch, the end property at 100%. I'm gonna move forward in time, let's say the one second mark. I'm gonna change it from 100 to zero. That added a keyframe, and just like that, we have a pretty cool animation. Very little effort. So now what you do is change the other properties. So I'm gonna change the rotation. Let's try that to minus 90 degrees. See what happens there. So now when I come in, you see the text is animating on and rotating. That's kind of cool. Now I'm gonna add a little blur. This is gonna simulate the motion blur effect, but I can really control how much blur I get. I'll enter in a value of, let's try 20 to start. Then I'm gonna add a little scramble using character offset. I'm just going to enter the value of 20. Then I can just drag the CTI back and just scrub to the timeline and just see the results and make adjustments as needed. As you start experimenting with text animators, I really encourage you to look at all of the other properties and settings and try different things as you're going to get different results. For example, if you go into advanced, some of this is really going to change the smoothness, the easing, you can change whether you want it by characters. Maybe you just want to animate everything by words, or if you have multiple lines, you're going to see here, you really can make some cool customizations depending on what you're looking for. Right here is pretty fun, randomize order. If I just turn that on, and I also have an additional setting once I went from off to on, so I can change the random seed. As it animates in, it's completely random, but when it gets to the end range, the text is going to read how I want it. And once you create an animation that you like, if you want to use it on additional text layers, it's a matter of copy and pasting. So I'll just select the animator group and copy it to my clipboard. Command or Control C, or go to the edit menu and choose copy. Drag the CTI to where you want the second animation to start. So I'll just offset it right in the center there. I'll select the text layer below. That's a little subtext. I'll just paste it using edit paste or use command or control V. Now the main text comes on. When it gets to where I had the CTI, the second layer is going to animate automatically. And to save your text animations as a preset so you can reuse them over and over again in any of your After Effects projects, just select the animator group or multiple groups if you've added them 
Go to the animation menu at the top and choose save animation preset. Give your preset a name, then click save. I'm going to delete this animation. I'll delete it off both layers. Now pretend you're in a new After Effects project. You added some text, but you don't want to spend the time creating a whole new text animation. First, make sure the CTI is at the beginning of the timeline. Then select your text layer. You're going to go into the Effects and Presets panel. There's an Animation Presets folder. Then you're going to twirl open the User Presets. You're going to select your preset and just drag it right onto the text layer. And just like that, you've added your text animation preset. I'll select that second text layer. With the text layer selected, you can simply double click. That will do the same thing. And now you've added that text animation onto both layers. And that is how to use text animators in Adobe After Effects. And don't forget to check the description of this tutorial where you will find a coupon code for my online course, After Effects User Guide at aeuserguide.com. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.